also when you generated your doc types right when you created your doc types you saw along with your main py file there was another file created which was test underscore that doc type name dot py let's open it up for driver there is some boilerplate code right basically it is a class that inherits from frappe test case and here is where you can write your unit tests right and frappe will automatically when you do bench run tests right there is a command to run the test it will pick up all the files that start with test underscore and it will run it the start with test and it will run the test right when you do run test so let's write a test first so what are unit tests so you are testing a unit of your code not the whole app but a unit of your code so this is usually very useful when you are testing logic so <clears throat> what logic do we have in driver that we can test so we have this logic right that we need to set the last name automatically the sorry the full name automatically based on the first name and last name so how do we do that let's write a test so each test should start with this test this right then only python will recognize the test uh, and we can give it a name test uh, full name is set automatically self this is a method so every test has two things so you do some stuff and then you test okay and you assert that okay i created a new driver was the full name set automatically right is the full name field equal to the the full name that you are expecting so at the very end you will do assert is the expected value same as what was required so let's write so i will create a test record test driver equal to frappe dot get doc so you can create so let's uncomment frappe what i am doing i am creating a test record so you can use get doc to create new records as well just pass in a dictionary tell it the doc type and then the fields so i will do first name is uh, jenny last name sharma and let's check what all require fields we have first name date of birth is required okay okay and then do dot insert so it will insert it into the database now we want to check whether the last full name was set based on the first name or the last name so how do we do that we do self dot so there are a like lot of methods to assert assert equal i'll share the docs in a bit what do we want to test that test driver dot full name is jenny sharma what are we doing here we wrote a unit test what we want to test we want to test the logic that we wrote in many cases it will be more complex than this that when we provide the first name and last name and we create a new driver we save it to the database then full name should be automatically set to this this is the unit of code we are testing anybody any doubts till now what we did fine now eric so yeah how do we run this two ways one is the manual one bench run test uh you have to provide the site ff.dev run tests 
come on yeah i was showing you, uh, you, you an example that uh, how you would run your test in your aeroplane mode app so you do dash dash site the site name then run test command then you can pass a module okay i want to run this particular file and then that particular test from that file cool so how do we do that fit for our site this run test there's one thing you need to make sure so we'll find out when we run run test dash dash module so you can type the whole path to this file or you can do let's try top type and i will call it driver so as you can see you can use dash 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 type to run the test for the driver doc type which is this test driver file so you don't have to write the complete path as i showed right so by default running test is not allowed right so you have to manually set the config so you can either do in site config right thanks uh, Rithvik for sharing the docs of unit testing and you have to allow test to true because in production, if you run test and if your tests are cleaning stuff, you are doomed <laughs> generally because tests have some cleaning, <laughs> they do some cleaning after they have tested. And like, if you drop some tables in your production while running test, horrible, let's enable tests it is helpful so it will give you the command you need to run in order to enable testing okay so last time also i checked the doc type thing doesn't work so you have to do dot module but i will show you a much better way much much better way go to your vs code right search for frappe test runner there is one for vim as well yeah, as Ritwik points out, create a new site for your test. Don't run your test on production site. Yeah, so this was created by our very own Ankush Menat. And I already have it installed. If you don't have, install it. And then do one thing. Go to your settings. So you can do command shift P and go to open settings. Search for Frappe. And as you can see, Rapid test runners ask you for the site name, right? So I will give it ff.dev. Hit save. Go back. Come to your wherever you are, whichever test you want to run. Click on that particular run inside that test. Hit command shift P and uh, search for this run nearest test. Right? This will be added by the extension that you installed. I will hit run. And as you can see, it generated that command it ran it for me. So bench that this site. So I don't have to write the whole module and the test thing. Nice, right? Go ahead and install it if you use VS code. So test passed. How do we know? As you can see, it ran one test. Okay, okay means all tests pass. So now let's do one thing. Let's remove this else part and run the test again, it still passes. It means our test is not exhaustive. It doesn't check all the conditions. So we, that is why you write test for all the possible permutations that you might have. So let's write full name is set correctly when no last name. This is one of the cases we handled, right? With that else block. Let's again create a test driver. This time I won't give it a last name. And now I'll write self.assert equal test driver dot full name should be just Jenny. Let's command shift P run nearest test. It failed. So it says none is not equal to Jenny because something logic somewhere is wrong. Otherwise it would have worked, right? So let's go back, 
bring back that else, right? And run this test again. Now it passes. So now you can also do this. You can come here to the class, run nearest test. It will run the whole set. So this and this both test were run and both passed. Awesome. Unit test is done. Any doubts?